I'm Sarah from the Ag Exploration Team and I'm going to show you how to do the activity from the animal digestion lesson. This activity mimics the microbial fermentation or the type of digestion process that occurs in a ruminant stomach, a ruminant being an animal that chews a cud, like a cow, a sheep, or a goat. First, the materials that you'll need. For each group, you'll need a funnel, some lukewarm water, one cup for each group, you'll need a one cup measuring cup and a one tablespoon measuring cup, some light colored corn syrup, three to four tablespoons per group, some active dry yeast. You can either use the yeast in the packet, one packet per group, or if you're using yeast from a jar, you'll use one tablespoon per group. You'll need a balloon and a water bottle for each group. The first thing that you wanna do is add some yeast to your bottle. I'm going to use the yeast out of the jar, so I'll add one tablespoon. Next, you'll add the corn syrup. The directions say three to four tablespoons, so I'm gonna add about three. And it will take a minute for the corn syrup to funnel down through as it's very thick. Next, I'm going to add some tap water. I've got some lukewarm tap water just out of the faucet and you're going to add one cup. Next, you'll replace the cap on the bottle and shake. And you want to shake enough to mix up all the ingredients, but you don't want to shake so vigorously that you destroy the yeast. Once everything's been well combined, you'll remove the cap and place a balloon over the mouth of the bottle. Your next step is just to wait and see what happens. You'll want to measure the size of the balloon about 10 minutes after mixing, an hour after mixing, and if you can wait, a day after mixing. The fermentation that occurs in the bottle simulates the fermentation that occurs in a ruminant's stomach, a ruminant being a cud-chewing animal like a cow, sheep, or a goat. The ruminant stomach is host to a variety of microbes like bacteria, fungi, and protozoa that can break down fibrous materials by digesting the cellulose. In the bottle, the yeast acts like those gut bugs and is able to break down and digest the corn syrup. The digestion products in the bottle are carbon dioxide, which is a gas, which you can see as it fills up the balloon, and ethanol and alcohol. And if you remove the balloon and smell, you should be able to smell that ethanol. In the ruminant stomach, the digestion products from the activity of those gut bugs is methane, a gas, and volatile fatty acids, which the ruminant animal uses to make glucose or energy. This fermentation process in the ruminant stomach gives a ruminant animal an advantage because they're able to digest fibrous products, the cellulose in things like hay and grass, whereas monogastric animals, like people, pigs, and chickens, aren't able to as a monogastric stomach doesn't have those gut bugs to do the fermentation process. To find the complete lesson plan, as well as the other 21 peer-reviewed lesson plans of the Ag Exploration curriculum, you can visit our website at extension.umd.edu slash exploration.